The jungle hasn't spread evenly yet, but there are still little patches here and now, here and here and there. So I'm going to lay down a couple apiaries and just deal with the poison, I guess. I was hoping to put it in a more distant spot where I wouldn't have to deal with it constantly. Anyway, these guys will breed up. It's not bright enough. It's not daytime. They are diurnal only. So I'm going to have to keep it daytime to keep them happy. No flowers. Okay, what flowers do you eat? Jungle. Okay. Do you mean jungle saplings? Jungle wood? Do you maybe mean cocoa beans? Let's try that. Okay. Let's first try just jungle wood. No? Okay, let's try cocoa beans. Hmm. Maybe vines. Maybe vines. Okay, it just took them a while to realize. But yeah, see those particles coming out of it? If I get too close to the hive for too long, eventually they'll poison me. Or maybe they won't. Does bound armor block bees? Or maybe runic shielding blocks bees? Either way, I seem to be fine. Well, neat! Yeah, I'm not sure of the reason, but I'm not getting poisoned. Oh, nope, there it goes. So I am not invincible. Not to poison. And yes, yeah, so you can see that bees actually have a pretty good range for how far they will search for flowers. Okay, so this isolator, I think if I understand things correctly, this will take a B and it will allow me to make a kind of tonic out of one of their traits, or at least it's the first step in that process. Encoding. Mm-hmm. Ah, and I need to make these blank sequences, yes. I have a feeling I'll need a couple of those. Paper. Okay, blank sequences. And I imagine it wants me to craft at least one of them by hand. Okay. Mmm, bee smoothies. These things will crush down bees into a DNA slurry, which I think is used as fuel for a bunch of these machines. Unsequenced? Okay. Um, weird. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'll set up the gene machines, like, over here somewhere. So it wants me to make the gene pool. Fairly simple. Really, I'm out of glass. Well, 
Order a thousand of it. I love having automated machines. Yeah. Okay, so this gene pool will take down drones and other such... Yeah, well, drones are what you want to use because you can produce infinite of them, but it'll take any bee. And actually, princesses and queens will get more. And it'll smash them down and give you DNA. I'll put this closer to this... Yeah, over here. Mm-hmm. So let's take some spare drones. Yes, you see it kind of, it is very slow. Is it going? Not enough ethanol. It runs on ethanol? Hmm. I think I might need to make another chest for this DNA stuff. Yeah. There we go. Just completely automate the line of chests, because why the hell not? And I guess this can contain my DNA stuff. Yeah, stuff like this you want usually in a chest rather than in in your ME storage because it will each of those different types is going to take up a slot and slots are actually pretty expensive. Remember how each drive only holds 63? So yeah, something like this bunch of slots. Much better. So, ethanol. Yeah, that's just forestry ethanol. Okay, well, guess I'll have to do that then. If I want DNA. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I don't need to do all the quests, and I can just kind of I can just kind of make the machines and call it a day. <laughs> the only hard thing is going to be getting all that silky stuff for the... Yeah. So this isolator. No empty sequencer vials. Okay. There we go. Blank sequence. Yep, it runs on ethanol too. Yeah, and I don't feel like automating ethanol. Okay, so I guess the Genetex machines are just going to kind of sit in the background until I either really, really want some sort of specific bee, or until... Um, let's try a different frame. Maybe, maybe chocolate frames are a bad choice for this one. Let's put these in here. Yeah, let's just let's just try the regular frames. Maybe I'll get more combs from that. Even better. Let's use up these proven frames. Yeah, because I think chocolate is only good if you want to breed up more drones. I think proven is what you want if you want more combs. Yeah. That terraformer has a pretty wide range. Too bad it seems to kind of scatter them randomly. Okay, got another lovely machine to construct here. I think this has something to do with, like, 
storing B genes and using them to program things? I have no idea. I need to read up on the genetics mod. I, I, I need to read up on bees in general. It's just that they're so slow. So useless. Anyway, figured out a very easy automation for these apiaries. Just pipe bees. Because mechanism only puts into valid destinations. Made that improvement on here too. All these hoarders are doing is taking out the combs now. It will mean that eventually it'll fill up with drones. And I'll have to deal with that somehow. Maybe, I don't know, put a low priority thing at the end. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, this, this gene database is um, a thing. Let's put this back on the Silky Wisps. I don't know, let's try this thing out. So, um, oh boy. Okay, so, uh, there, there's like a genome thing in it. Okay. I, I guess that could be a game. So do I... What, do I, do I take this DNA sequence and... Well, I guess that would be what the sequencer machine I made would be for. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so does this thing need ethanol to run? Guess not. So this is like an identifier thing, I guess. And do I put the gene database in this? Oh, wait. Insufficient dye. Ah, that's probably what that fluorescent dye thing is. It's just, you yeah. See, it's dandelion yellow, orange, and glowstone. Actually, let me let me make a better pattern for that. Okay, first of all, let me make a pattern for orange dye. Just from our dye essence. And uh, dandelion yellow, too, of course. Okay, and let's take back that fluorescent dye pattern. There, that's better. Yeah, now it's pretty much crafted at 100% from Essence. There we go. Yeah, no problems. Doesn't require ethanol or anything. It's just a very interesting device, I guess. Ah, okay. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, these are all very cool looking devices. Oh, it's nighttime. I need to sleep to get the bees working. Ah, crafting task. Now it needs analyzer in DNA day. DNA die, okay? Hmm, hmm, that's probably what I would go for, so let's make the purple die first. And this is a crafting task, so... Anyway. And this analyzer. Relatively simple looking craft. 
Yeah, it's going to require another Bealizer. And I want to keep my Bealizer, so I'm going to need to make another one. Fairly simple. There we go. Bealizer going. Yeah, genetics machines are very slow. The only thing slower than them is the bees. I built the hibiscus. I have it down here in the basement along with a bunch of, you, you know, all the other production plants. I have it off the redstone signal just because it takes so long to operate and it only operates when you give it input. Anyway, I threw in an ignoble princess like a couple of days ago, and uh, I've got nothing back. But it's... Oh, just ate another one, I guess. Huh. Well, it should have dropped the princess on the ground, and then the hopper hawk would pick it up. Oh, shoot! The hopper hawk wouldn't pick it up because it's on a redstone signal. Shoot. That was the problem. I did not think of that. So, yeah, always be sure that uh, you have a hopper hawk to pick up the, the princess on that hibiscus because... You aren't exactly going to be around to watch it for the ridiculous amount of time that it takes. Okay, there we are, the analyzer. I think this is like a machine bealizer that doesn't require honey. Yeah, it looks like it just accepts bees. So let's take this Valiant Princess that dropped from one of the one of the jungle hives that I that I did. Not enough DNA dye. Okay. I guess instead of honey, it uses this DNA dye. And it's a bit faster than the sequencer. Not as instant as the. Uh, as the Bealizer, of course, but it does not cost honey, which is nice. I mean, I'm generating a pretty good amount of honey just processing these silky combs, because I think silky combs also generate honey. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're automating all the things, it might be good. Wish that jungle biome would spread a little bit more evenly. I want it on this line so that I can, you know, create a big line of all the apiaries. Hook it up to the piping network that I already have. Another crafting task for this polymerizer, okay? Yeah, you know, the polymerizer says it runs on raw DNA from the gene pool and it increases the speed of the sequencer. Okay. So I guess some machines can be sped up. In case you were wondering, these integrated circuit boards are just a circuit board with some glowstone and lapis. They're nothing special. Okay, Polymerizer. And that is finally the quest. Forest Larvae. Genetic serums to alter these embryonic specimens.
by installing a hatchery in an alviary. So I need to build an alviary. You can access the larvae of the housed bees. Alviaries are three, but yeah, they're, they're 27 alviary blocks. Okay. I need those seven more alviary blocks from feeling the sting. So now what I need to do is I just need to keep spreading that jungle biome. I need to keep finding jungle princesses. And I need to just increase the size of the swarm. And get the jungle biome evened out so that I can run it down the line and like have the piping network taking care of it for the most part. That is going to be a lot of off-screen work. Okay, the bees are taking a ridiculously long time. I might as well try out the rest of the genetics machines. So I'm going to need some ethanol. I have here a fermenter. It's a simple machine. It's on an export bus, which I had to make my first capacity card, because by default, export buses can only export one thing. Capacity cards increase usually the amount of things things can do. Like, they can increase the slots in a storage bus and things like that. This also has a crafting card and some acceleration cards. It's making this compost, which is just made from dirt and wheat, and it is exporting wheat. That is in the fermenter with water from our water source to make biomass. Next, just going to take that off of a pipe into three, and I think three is the right number, three stills. And these stills, with a little bit of power, will turn the biomass into ethanol. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty slow process at first. But it's going to be faster than bees. I think that so long as it has ingredients, this, the fermenter should be operating, like, wicked fast. Maybe I'm just misremembering. And maybe it's three fermenters to one still, and not the other way around. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter. This is technically producing ethanol, and that's all I really want. So, just gonna take that on out, and I'm gonna make another railcraft tank. Just a small one. No. Why no? Hmm. There we go. That's better. These are the wrong things. Yes, lovely orange ethanol. Almost have a bucket full of it now. Okay. I guess that's just so little ethanol I can't even see it in the pipe. No? Hmm. Okay, there we are, working gene pool. Just had to wait on another production of ethanol because I guess it, I don't know, got lost in something.
So yeah, this produces eventually from smashing up drones and princesses, but you, you don't want to use princesses, even ignoble ones. A tiny amount of raw DNA, 10 millibuckets from that drone. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, and it also costs this enzyme from the incubators, which is why it's sitting here. I know I'm never going to use it, because if I want to dispose of drones and other bees, I'll just mash them into DNA paste now. But let's make the begonia just for the quest. So it's white, two yellow, black, and some powder, okay? Well. Begonia! Quest confirmed. Anyway, that is quest complete, and it gives me more modest hives. Which, of course, I'm going to turn into tropical and try and get more tropicals going. Let's just smash all those right here. Yes, and let's smash up that forest princess to see how much she gives us. So we already have 10 in there. Yeah, princesses should give vastly larger amounts of DNA, and queens should give the most of all. Getting a little bit of block lag, I have no idea why. I'm not playing on a server, I'm playing single player. Oh well, it's not unbearable. Yeah, I got a couple more of those. Got another one of those Valiant Princesses. Excellent. It looks like I got a good couple more Pristines. Ah, that princess was worth a full 30 millibuckets of DNA. I read somewhere that you get more DNA if you've bealized them. So here's a bealized queen, and we'll see what that gets us. That looks like it was a full, what, 50 millibuckets of DNA? Uh-huh. I just realized, even if I make all the DNA machines, I still need larvae in order to do genetic sequencing. So I might as well race to see if I can get... Um, if I can get the ingredients for the alviary faster than I can get. Yeah. So the first step is I'm going to need to get common bees. Common bees are made by crossbreeding rocky and tropical bees. Do we get it? Wait, first of all, first of all, before I do that, I should make some mutation frames. Yeah, impregnated frame plus soul sand equals these soul frames. These set the product the productivity of your bees to pretty much zero. They drastically decrease the lifespan. Actually, they, par they probably do it more than the chocolate frame. But in return, you get vastly higher chances of species change when they mate. Okay, this is generation two, and you can see that the crossbreeding has infected the rocky queen with a few more jungle genes. It now has this inactive here. If I keep breeding her with jungle drones, eventually she will become a jungle queen. And if I keep on doing that, eventually she'll have all the stats of a jungle one. And that's, that's how you can clone bees, is you get a miscellaneous princess and you get a bunch of drones for the bee that you want and you just keep on breeding them until you have all the stats that you want. That's how you do it the vanilla way, anyway. Collection of jungles is going is growing pretty large. At an estimate, I'd say it's producing maybe like a comb every ten minutes. Yeah, bees are slow, and I have a mix of um, regular and chocolate frames in here. 
seeing which ones work faster. Anyway, I think just having the one rocky princess doing my breeding, that's a bit slow. So you know what? We're going to try and get some more. I could just dig for them, but that's, that's not the lazy way. The lazy way is to use a buildcraft quarry. Yeah. These things act like... Well, they act like... Scoops when they, when they encounter bees. So, I think I actually can craft all those gears automatically. No, I should have crafted the gold first. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I need to teach it how to make a diamond pickaxe. I might as well have it on AutoCraft, just because. It's not like I'm short on space in my assemblers now. Now, we're gonna need to get, find a way to get power out there. And it's way too long to run a cable, because I'm not gonna have a big hole in the ground near my base, so... I'm going to make something from Mechanism, the Quantum Entangler Portal. This thing is a little bit of a production to make. I'm going to need to make this refined obsidian in the osmium compressor. So, and for that, I need this refined obsidian dust, which actually, we should have that down in the basement in our auto... Yeah, in here. Should have it in this enrichment machine. Yep, there we go. So now all I need to do is take out all that glowstone that I made, put in this, and that'll make me a stack of compressed obsidian for the quantum entangler portal. Okay, that's the first step sorted. Atomic alloy I've got, that I've got, that I can auto-craft. That is going to be a little bit interesting. So, the only thing I don't have on auto-craft really is those mana pearls. Okay, so that's teleportation core. Okay, and there's some refined obsidian for me to use. So... Quantum Entanglo Porter. And obviously, I'm going to need at least two of these. These things are like thermodynamics tesseracts, as I think I might have said. They will transfer power, they will transfer items, liquids, and mechanism gases across time, space, and dimension. So... I think I will set the first one up near the import bus downstairs. That way I can just link it up to the hungry chest and I can have it send items as well. Okay, that's quantum one. And these things, if they behave anything like uh, how Tesseracts behave, you need to set a channel for them. So I'm going to call that main power. I I'm just going to call that main. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so that should be a fully working thing. Then I'm going to just run a little bit away from the base. Okay, this should be a good enough place. So I'm going to set this to the main network. And now I forgot the quarry. Shoot. Well, I can at least test this. So, um, I don't have a chest or anything. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe it can only do cables. That's interesting. You have to set energy to auto-eject. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, there we go. We are drilling for bees! I'll just quickly run back and check and make sure that the... that the greedy chest is receiving items. Hmm. Aha! Excellent. Okay. So they are a little bit difficult to config, but other than that, once you get the trick of them, they are perfectly usable. And because that is a buildcraft quarry, it should be chunk loaded just in and of itself. Though I did forget to check and make sure that the the quantum transportal porter is still in the same chunk. So yes, with any hope, eventually this thing will run across some bees. Maybe I should increase its size. Aha! Look at that! When she died, I got this common drone. So maybe maybe it wasn't just when they were breeding that I needed the soul frames. Maybe she needed to live with the soul frames, even though it took longer. Uh, damn. Huh. Oh, look at that! This is a special crossbreed. See, she's species tropical, but her active trait, the effect, is none. So by doing that crossbreeding, I bred the poison effect out of the jungle princess. By mistake, but I still did it. Turns out that modest plus tropical has a chance to give common as well. So we will just be doing that. At least we will be doing that while we await our new Rocky Bees. Got myself a common queen. This is now a stable breeding pattern. If I keep breeding her with her own drones, her genes will stabilize and I'll get purebred queen. Um, right now she is technically a half-breed, I think. Yeah, she's common tropical. But she will drop a... She should drop a mix of... Well, let's, let's take a look at her stats. Yeah. See, these commons have slightly different stats than the jungles, different requirements and stuff like that. Shorter lifespan. Anyway, eventually I can get her to be a purebred common. Right now she's a common tropical hybrid. Anyway, I want these commons because they're on the path for me getting cultivated. Mm. Couple of paths to getting cultivated. And those cultivateds are going to be for 
a bunch of other things. Uh, uh, the long and the short of it is... For this alviary, I'm going to need royal jelly and I'm going to need pollen clusters, right? Well, the pollen clusters are easiest gotten from these industrious bees. These industrious bees, I need uh, diligent and unweary. For diligent, I'm going to need common and cultivated. So you see, I'm almost up to the diligent half of, of the first half of this. Ugh. And then, let's see. For the other half of the industrious for the unweary, I need diligent and cultivated again. So I, it's it's not quite as bad as it looks. Then for the royal jelly, I'm going to need imperial bees. For imperial bees, I need noble and majestic. For noble, which I thought I might have already seen, I need common and cultivated again. For the, let's see, was I on Noble or Majestic? I think I might be on Majestic. Yeah, for, for Majestic, I need Noble in the first place. So I have a lot of crossbreeding to do if I want to try and get the ingredients for the Alviary's mass crafting. As you can see, the mass manufactory of Silky Stuff is producing, this is about maybe like, I don't know, an hour's worth of production right here. And that's going to produce about maybe 18 silky wisps, depending on my luck. And that'll produce two woven silk. So the race is on! One thing you need to watch out for is that when you crossbreed, sometimes Pristine stock can become ignoble stock. In normal in, in normal forestry, that would mean that you kind of have to, like, try again. But for me, that just means I need to wait till the hibiscus is free, and then I can try again. With, and then I can get it back to pristine. Yes. Okay, so check this out. I managed to breed up a tropical bee with no poison. Did that just by crossbreeding it with a meadows bee, and I got a. Uh, after a couple of tries, I got a crossbreed tropical uh, meadows with no poison effect, right? And then I just. Uh, I eventually got. After a couple of tries, I got that crossbreed meadows tropical drone. Or I, I got a pure tropical drone with no poison, and I kept breeding that in until it bred true, and it's been circling around, and the drones have been clones for a little while. And now I can clone that out to other apiaries, just feed them drones from this one until they too have the right genes. And I'm already kind of in the process of that. If you look at this queen here, she has no poison, but she hasn't quite bred true yet. I don't know, something subtle in the genetics is still different. But eventually, I'll have two hives producing, then I can spread that to two more, then I'll have, be able to spread that to four more, and then I'll eventually have all my bees without poison. Well, the silk one. Yep, I've got all the woven silk I'll need. And for the bees, I only just got... Oh, it's nighttime, I need to sleep. But I only just got those Imperials bred up, and I'm not even close to fixating them yet. The highest one I've got gene fixed on these little repeating hives here. I've got Noble Drones producing in mass. Got a pretty good supply of them built up. The one that really slowed me down were these standards. These little bastards did not want to cooperate with me. Ugh. I think if I take my cult or, or these cultivated ones, yeah. I think if I take my cultivated queen here. 67 generations in captivity. And she's only been gene fixed for about, I don't know, 10 generations. Yeah. But I just got these Imperials, and that's kind of close to at least the royal jelly. Yeah, they'll they'll produce it. 
So if I was able to get these gene fixed, I'd have half the alveary materials ready. But not necessary. Oops. Apiarist shirt. Pants. Boots. And the hat. A dupe. A dupe. Mm. It, um... I, I don't think it really works with my gear. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, encoding. Get me that Alvieri working. And anyway, I, I don't need this gear because I have successfully bred away the poison in all of my jungle bees. I was in fact working on the next thing that I would put in them. I'm working on gene fixing a, a um, cathameral one here so that they can work day and night. And then I was going to put a, uh, a stronger work ethic into it. And I was going to try and gene fix that into them next. But then I got all the silk. Let's at least get an armor stand up here. Yes. This block lag is messing me up, man. Ugh. Oh, this episode is messing me up. I have been doing bees for, I think, like, ten hours. Ugh. Okay, so, the alveary. And I'm gonna need a hatchery block. Okay. I'll just go get one of those diamond teens from the spaghetti machine. Hatchery! Okay. So, the alveary. This is the top tier bee house. It is a multi-block. You can replace the bottom two layers of it for these special blocks. So, like, I can have hatcheries and I can have frame housings and all that good stuff. By default, it's just three layers tall. And then you top it with slabs. Wood slabs. And that's an alveary. Now then, we have that hatchery, but I'm going to make also a couple of frame housings. Yeah, it's a good thing I got those gold electron tubes. Just like so. These things, of course, will each hold one of our frames. So I'm going to take this jungle bee that I was breeding up and I'm going to put it in there. I wonder if chocolate frames will work in addition to the soul frames. Decrease the lifespan even more. But yeah, there's lots of things you can do for it. You can make it so that the alveary artificially has different biomes. You can make it so that it artificially generates day and night conditions. All sorts of things. Okay, so I looked in the hatchery and I found myself a larvae. And now I need to make these serums. Now, I've, I've tried serum files before, but let me just show you how this works. So, if I make an empty serum vial just like this, then that's fine and all, but that does absolutely nothing. What I need is, my, is this gene database you might remember. See, every time I scan a gene in here, which takes like an hour, and I get those genes from putting bees through this thing, the analyzer, or... I put them in the isolator, 
that will occasionally kill bees, so you just want to use drones, and that will suck out one of their stats randomly. So, like, uh, this thing is a slower worker, it has a short life, it has... Um, it, it's warm temperature with no, with no tolerance. It'll take one of those stats randomly, give you a gene for it, and then you put it into the analyzer, and that'll that'll tell you what gene it is, because you don't know what gene it is at first, right? And then you put it in the sequencer, and it takes like an hour, and you can you can make it take less time if you run the gene through a, a polymerizer. Anyway, once it runs through the sequencer, you get it in your gene bank here, and I've I've scanned a few. I have cathamerol. I have uh, fertility normal territory effect none production fast that is a species that is a thing i would want on this so i can take my empty vial and i can put it on production fast and now i have this gene vial and i can i can change it because it's not been charged yet so i can dupe and now it's lifespan shortest right and Apparently, I need to then take these files and put them in a machine with the liquid DNA in order to fill it up and encode it and make myself a serum that I can then put onto this larvae, which I then guess would grow up into a bee, which I could then breed into my pool? Question mark. So I need this empty serum array. Which is just how you how you put multiple genes into a thing all at once. So actually, let me a serum array. A serum array will hold one gene of each classification. So you see in the in the gene database here, I have like species, production, lifespan, and so on. Okay. So then I need to build the inoculator and the splicer. Apparently the inoculator is a really basic and crappy version that uses ethanol, and the splicer is faster, better, doesn't require ethanol, but sucks down tons of power. And I have tons of power. Okay, there we go. There's the inoculator. And I'm also going to need the splicer. Which this is going to require some of the top tier stuff, yeah. You can definitely tell that this is the next level. So I'm going to need 27 total of those circuit boards. And there you go. Easy as that. Splasser. And that is the quest. Get another alviary. Get some mystery DNA. Cave dwelling, yes. And rain tolerance, yes. Both very good genes, actually. Gonna put those in the sequencer. Okay, so I don't, I don't think we're gonna try out the inoculator. We're just gonna go straight for the splicer, because we have the power. Yeah, I think I'll just do that right over here by the isolator. Oh, neat. There we go. So we give it a we give it an individual. And then I'm actually going to have to assemble a file. Just for the heck of it. Let's let's try putting in an empty vial. See what it says. Yeah, it says no serum, it's empty. So I think what we need is the polymerizer. Yeah. It's going to need golden nuggets, polymerizing bacteria, raw DNA. That's okay. I've been emptying it out into a tank. Yeah, 
This stuff is freaky. So now we have the mystical barf tank full. And it gave it power. And it gives it gold nuggets, I guess. So now all it needs is this polymerizing bacteria. Okay. Um, that would probably be an incubator thing, I guess. Let me see if I can look up the recipes in here. Okay. So it looks like the polymerizing bacteria I need is just this regular bacteria plus bone meal. So it's a good thing I have tons of that built up. There it is, polymerizing bacteria, okay. There we go, polymerizing bacteria. And there it goes, filling the serum file. How are we on the quest, by the way? What's the next quest? The, the, there is no next quest. Oh my god, I'm done with bees! I can't... <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, I'm 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 already doing it. Let let's just let's try this gene splicing machine out one time, and then then I'll then I'll call it a day. Okay, I've got a couple charges on this file. Let's see what the splicer does. That's kind of pretty, I guess. It looks kind of like uh, I, 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 I am so tired. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, so yeah, I have I have this larva here and now it's a fast worker. And I think that's yeah, it's it's fast slash fast. It's on both genes. So it would have a pretty high chance of sticking. So, um, what do I do with it? Do, do I just breed it with the princess? No. Do I put it back in the hatchery? Okay, let's, let's look in the quest book. Maybe that'll tell me more. Okay, so, so I have this bee larva. What the hell do I do with it? Okay, according to the wiki, you take the bee larva and you... You go into the incubator with the liquid growth medium. So, like that. Yeah. Okay. So I got a drone. Okay. So then, if I wanted to, I could just keep getting these larvae out and like I, I I could make a serum vial of all the traits that I want, right? And I could get a whole mess of larvae and put them all on there and then I could just breed the be, breed the army of cloned drones with princesses until she gene fixes. And then I would have a population of genetically enhanced super bees. And that is how that would go. If I gave a damn about continuing on with bees. Oh my god, I'm done. I am done. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be done. Yeah, that sorts correctly. I mean... Okay, let, let me... I, I'm just going to run through all the B products out there. And I'm going to see if any of these are anything that I could possibly want. Because the other thing I would want... The, the only other thing I would want is a woven adventurer's backpack. Which is like a, a bag... 
but it holds 45 items. But the thing is, you have to configure what items it accepts in the actual config file for it. And that just feels bleh. So I decided against that. Besides, my tool bag is, is, is enough. Anyway, let me, let me just, yeah, let me. So we could get this phased pollen, which is like for more bees and, and we could get, yeah, honey. And we could get little bits of coal. We, if we need another source of coal, um, snow, crystalline pollen, which makes iodine. Okay. Oh, ink. A source of ink. Vital. Vital ink. Mushroom blocks. Oh. I I could make some booze. There's dyes. I could, could make, I could make dye bees. Oh, there's there's bees that I could use to get those thumbcraft shards. Yeah, that's uh, why? Ah, oil. I could I could actually make an infinite source of oil. That would be um, not useful. Redstone, diamond, uh, more dyes, copper. Is there a single resource that I would ever actually want? Oh, obsidian dust. That's 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 a thing. Nut do. Um, oh, okay. Milk do. <laughs> Extra bees dot glacial. Ah, extra bees dot glacial bottles. Absolutely, absolutely essential product. That and the, and the canisters, yes. Ah, there's there's a really extended production chain to make ender pearls. There is not a single thing I want. These bees, they, there is no reason. There is no reason to bees. Why did I bees? Why did I be?